What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Breath Edge. Today's episode, <laughs> get the legend there himself. But I was just out gathering more fabric to make uh, the uh, military jumpsuit. And we're going to go up and check out that. Is there a difference between this suit and the other suit? Hmm. Discharge sounds. I do need to be cautious. Can I keep some of this stuff on me? Maybe. Uh, what do I need to make a repair tool before we set off? Aluminum. Because you never know. I have the military one equipped. 40, not 75. All right. All right, let's go back up to the military compound. Never mind. You lie again. You are here. That means. <laughs> well, I guess we'll take the thruster with us this time. No, let's go launch the mail. Yeah. Uh, there's a good place for paint. Another good place for paint. Like the core looks like right there. What is the core? Is in my amount of cool and everything. There's something nasty. Hmm, what's that red thing? Oh, radiation's creeping up. Oh, yeah, my protection's a little bit lower in the camera. That's a strange place, but maybe we can find something useful here. Let me guess, the scanner. Light bulb. 
fabric is the bane of my existence. What am I? What am I looking at? More shears, fabric. I don't, what do you want me to do here? Well, that's not supposed to be. Yeah, something's uh, not right there. Not right at all. Okay. Moving on. The engine is installed, now the tank will probably be able to fly. Okay. So how do we launch it? These are the brackets mounting the tank to the module. You'd better find them all and detach them before you start, or at best, all this debris will spin and be torn apart with the tank right here. Okay. Repair tool. I knew it. Yeah, might as well. You can try to repair the bracket, but since you will destroy it during the repair process, it will be easier to break it beforehand. <laughs> uh, the literal. Grenade or blaster required? Two out of four. These are the brackets mounting the tank to the module. You'd better find them all and detach them before you start, or at best, all this debris will spin and be torn apart with the tank right Yeah, here. yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you said that before. Um... How am I supposed to get to the other one? Great idea. In addition to good speed, your magnificent transportation is vibrating so hard that by the it would be useful to have a powerful soil analyzer with the function of deep scanning, which is usually used by biologists and treasure hunters. Ah, oh, I literally got a plurge into the mayonnaise. Ay, ay, boy.
A very odd composition, but apparently this mayo doesn't want to freeze. There's also no danger to the spacesuit's material, but I'm not sure it's reasonable to stay here with such visibility. In addition, the composition's density prevents you from moving quickly. Seems that detaching the bracket without getting your hands as well as other parts of your body dirty will be impossible. Okay, so that's all the brackets attached. Again, how do I... Oh, boy. How do I launch this thing? I, oh, wait a minute. deep enough. An airlock seems to be intact. <laughs> seems like the gas coming into the Mayo doesn't let it freeze. I have a feeling that something is wrong with this mayonnaise. Apart from the inconsistency of its composition, overly complex technologies are used to transport such biological debris. Although, all the tanks are specified as mayonnaise ones in all the invoices related to the liner. afraid to touch the mayonnaise and this vacuum cleaner is called rocket for a reason with it having such a powerful engine it is really possible to fly it if you bypass some technical limitations <laughs> so I didn't have to waste all my materials great This is heaven knows what, but it's certainly not a simple tank for storing food products. So it uses. plan of the transport module. Ooh. How oh, rubber is that? I don't know what I was thinking about. Electrical suit. Dang it. Who knew? Mayo. All data indicate that the mayonnaise is not mayonnaise, and the tank was an integral part of the systems of the liner unnamed. We have to start the centrifuge, even just out of scientific interest. <laughs> Definitely take the matter of fact. Thought there was a dead guy sitting around here. Thank you. 
Thought there was. Okay. A special patch and a bloated spacesuit indicating increased gas production due to excessive broccoli eating. All this points out that the body belongs to the Green Universe Radical Group. If the possible moral constraints are no problem, this bag of methane, hydrogen, and organic residues can be used to provide initial acceleration to the centrifuge. You only need to figure out how to do it. Make niter. So I, I gotta go all the way back to craft this. To craft an igniter. Oh, that's so dumb. Okay. <laughs> Despite the fact that the task involved pumping out gas to create a miniature engine with an igniter, your barbaric method of directly lighting the rear end is recognized as effective. It's time to check the control panel. Incredible dexterity, together with incredible luck and incredibly linear strength, works wonders. In any case, there's a decrease in the core's activity. If nothing explodes there in the next couple of minutes, then the task can be considered completed. I can't say for sure, but apparently it was a backup power cell of the newest nuclear warp installation in the core of the liner. What we have seen is one of the most protected government secrets, and the presence of a Green Universe Radical there confirms their involvement in the catastrophe. Okay then. Hmm. 
Wait a minute. Oh, I was gonna say, where's, where's the bike? Beautiful view, though. Alright, well, I think that's going to end this episode. Didn't exactly get into the military base, but hey, we're making progress. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you all in the next one. Later.